Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In our previous session, mainly we discussed about what is structural steel framing, workflow of a project, role of a steel detailer and outputs of a steel detailer. Let's start session 2. As we discussed earlier, steel beams to be fabricated in shop using assembly drawings and should be erected inside using erection drawings. But before starting fabrication, fabricator needs to bring the steel members. Here are the sources of steel members. Mill order, warehouses and stock lines in fabrication shop. Fabricator will order the required amount of steel where the structural steel shapes are casted to the required stock lines. This order should be given usually before 6 months itself. And the delivery of this steel material will be completely depends on demand and supply in steel construction market. Now second one is local warehouses. Local warehouses are the local shops at which steel material is available on retail prices. Usually more quantity of steel which is required for a project may not be available in local warehouses. Some fabricators directly purchase the steel when steel price goes down and keeps it in their private storehouses. That comes under stock lines in fabrication shop. So now we understood that steel shapes should be brought from the sources based on availability as steel cannot be casted inside to desired shape and material grades similar to concrete. So there is a big need to bring the uniformity of available shapes and grades throughout the construction industry. So that is how ASTM was formed. ASTM American Society for Testing Materials It was started in 1898. The first era of steel usage in construction was started with railway tracks. After several days of construction of railway tracks, they found some damages due to inconsistent quality and inconsistent shapes. Then ASTM was found to standardize all the products, specifications, limitations, testing methods, guidelines for systems and services. Below are the main reasons for the establishment of ASTM. One is consistency in quality, safety and reliability global trade and compliances, industry specific needs. There are some series in ASTM. All the specifications in this ASTM are categorized into different series. Example, ASTM A series consists of ferrous metal and alloys. These are used in construction industry, fabrication and engineering applications. B series consists of standards related to non-ferrous metal such as titanium, copper, zinc and aluminum. C series consists of standards related to ceramic, cement, concrete, glass and masonry. So our structural steel comes in ASTM A series. Origin of ASC. ASC means American Institute of Steel Construction founded in 1921. In United States. You guys may get doubt if already ASTM is there, why again ASC? Usually while designing a building, we need to do some load analysis and design with some members. ASC includes some predefined design considerations to be done and members and connection capacities based on its length and properties. Which means that for particular connection combinations and particular profiles and lengths, the capacities of each members are already tabulated in ASC. So that designer can directly take that input data from ASC. So in this way to set some standard approaches in design and construction of steel industry, they found ASC. In ASC, these different types of structural shapes will also be available along with their properties and sizes. Okay, so here are the list of structural steel shapes. 
டபிள்யூ எம் எஸ் ஹெச்பி சி எம்சி ஆங்கிள்ஸ் டபிள்யூடி எம்டி எஸ்டி ஹெச்எஸ்எஸ் பைப்ஸ் டபுள் ஆங்கிள்ஸ் டபுள் சேனல்ஸ் பிளேட்ஸ் அண்ட் பார்ஸ் வி கோ வித் டபிள்யூ ஷேப் யூஸ்வலி ஃபார் ஏ ஸ்ட்ரெச்சுரல் ஸ்டீல் ஷேப் திஸ் இஸ் வெப் வி கால் தீஸ் டூ ஆர் ஃப்ளாஞ்சஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த திக்னஸ் ஆஃப் வெப் திஸ் இஸ் திக்னஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளாஞ்ச் திஸ் இஸ் கே ரீஜன் திஸ் இஸ் வித் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த டெப் டபிள்யூ ஷேப்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் எஸ் ஒயிட் ஃப்ளாஞ்ச் பீம்ஸ் தீஸ் ஹவ் பேரலல் அவுட்டர் அண்ட் இன்னர் ஃப்ளாஞ்ச் சர்ஃபேசஸ் ஓகே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ டேக் டபிள்யூ டுவெல் பை ஃபோர்டீன் பீம் டுவெல் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் நாமினல் டெப் ஃபோர்டீன் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் யூனிட் வெயிட் இன் எல்பி பர் ஃபீட் எல்பி மீன்ஸ் பவுண்ட்ஸ் விச் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஃப் யூ டேக் ஒன் ஃபீட் லாங் டபிள்யூ டுவெல் பை ஃபோர்டீன் மெம்பர் இட்ஸ் வெயிட் வில் பி ஃபோர்டீன் பவுண்ட்ஸ் எம்ஷேப் எம்ஷேப் மே ஹவ் ஸ்லோப்டு இன்னர் ஃப்ளான் சர்ஃபேசஸ் பட் இட் வில் நாட் மீட் த கிரைடீரியா ஆஃப் ரிமைனிங் டபிள்யூ எஸ் அண்ட் ஹெச்பி ஷேப்ஸ் இஃப் யூ டேக் எம் டென் பை நைன்டீன் டென் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் நாமினல் டெப் நைன் இண்டிகேட்ஸ் யூனிட் வெயிட் எஸ் ஷேப்ஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ கால்ட் எஸ் அமெரிக்கன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் பீம்ஸ் these have sloped inner flange surfaces the slope is equal to 2 on 12 i have already drawn here a triangle for example if you take this as the first position of a point the point travels by 12 inches horizontally and then 2 inches vertically this will become second position of the point if you draw a line matching first position and second position the line will be in some slope that slope we say it as 2 on 12 in the same slope inner flange surfaces of w shape will also be design parameters if you take s 10 by 35 10 indicates nominal depth and 35 indicates unit weight hp these are also called as american white flange bearing piles similar to w shape these also have parallel inner and outer flange surfaces so the differences are this web thickness and flange thickness both are same for hp shape and depth and width of the cross section are nominally equal so if you take hp 10 by 57 depth and width are nominally 10 inch 57 is the weight c shape these are called as american standard channels this inner flange surface is of 2 on 12 slope if you take c 10 by 30 10 is the nominal depth and 30 is the unit weight mc shape these are called as american miscellaneous channels for this slope of inner flange surface is not equal to 2 on 12 designation parameters are same mc 10 by 25 if you take 10 is the nominal depth and 25 is the unit weight l shape we call these as angles for these angles there will not be any flange or web we call these two as legs of the angle not flanges or web okay now this is inner surface and this is outer surface these inner surfaces and outer surfaces are completely parallel to each other in an angle these angles are of two types one is equal angle and another one is unequal angle if you take l 5 by 5 by 1 by 2 depth and width of the angle is 5 inches and thickness is 1 by 2 so since depth and width both are equal we call this as equal angle if you take l 5 by 3 by 1 by 4 depth is 5 inches width is 3 inches thickness is 1 by 4 inches so depth and width are not equal at this condition we call this angle as unequal angle wt st and mt shapes these properties are as same as w s and m shapes 
depths and weights are exactly half of the w m and s shapes designations are also same mt 6 by 5 if you take 6 is the nominal depth 5 is the unit weight the same way for st and wt also h shapes hollow structural section these are of three types rectangular square circular if you take h s 4 by 2 by 1 by 4 4 inch is the depth of h s cross section 2 inch is the width of h s cross section 1 by 4 is the h s wall thickness if you take 4 by 4 by 1 by 4 4 inch is the depth and width of the hs cross section 1 by 4 is the hs wall thickness if you take a round hs hs 5 by 1 by 2 5 indicates the outer diameter of the hs 1 by 2 is thickness of the hs wall pipe pipes are of three types one is standard extra strong double extra strong cross sections are rounded for all the three types at this condition we make inner dia as constant for example pipe 3 standard if you take 3 inch is the inner dia pipe 3 extra strong if you take 3 inch is the inner dia pipe 3 double extra strong if you take 3 inch is the inner dia but but when it comes to standard extra strong and double extra strong thickness will be increased double angles and double channels properties are as same as angles and channels only in double angles two angles of same size are kept back to back in double channel two channels of same size are kept back to back that's it mostly we won't use these double angles and double channels plates and bars here is the available plate thicknesses it will start from 1 by 16 inch and it will be available in 1 by 16 increments up to 3 by 8 means 1 by 16 thickness will be available 1 by 8 will be available 3 by 16 will be available 1 by 4 will be available 5 by 16 will be available and then 3 by 8 will be available after 3 by 8 it will be in 1 by 8 increments means after 3 by 8 half inch will be available then 5 by 8 will be available then 3 by 4 then 7 by 8 and then 1 inch after 1 inch it will be in quarter inch increments means 1 1 by 4 1 and 1/2 etc in that way and for all these thicknesses plates are available in sheets of 10 ft by 10 ft and bars what is the main difference between bars and plates if the width of the bar is less than or equal to 8 inch then we call it as bar okay if the width is crossing 8 inch then we call it as plate for bars thicknesses will be available with the increment of 1 by 8 inches and widths will be available with the increment of quarter inches maximum width will be 8 inches for bar so designations will be mostly same for both plates and bars if you take half inch pl 1 by 2 by 4 by 1 ft half inch is the thickness 4 inch is the width and 1 ft is the length crane rails usually these crane rails will be used only in industrial projects these are only designated by unit weight we won't show any cross sectional parameters in the designation we will just show unit weight 30 lb per feet means if you take a 1 feet long crane rail of that particular size its weight is 30 pounds yeah that's all for this session guys next session will be uploaded in a week or early if possible so if you come till here i can understand your interest in learning this i suggest you to watch it multiple times and discuss with your friends 
Please comment below if you have any doubt. I'll make sure to answer those all. Please subscribe to support me in uploading further sessions. This is your Krishna signing off.